you ready? I hope you're ready, because I am definitely ready. What am I ready for? I'll tell you what I'm ready for. I'm ready for you TV producers to give me my own show. Ah, uh, Ginger, pay attention. Sorry, Tom, not sorry. Okay, here it is, the Talking Tom reality TV show audition video. <laughs> Now, I'm not gonna come on here and be like, oh, producers, please, please, please give me a reality show. No, I don't need to do that. Why? Because I know when you see my friends and my cool life, you're gonna be like, oh, Tom, please, 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 let us give you a reality show. Uh, hey, uh, probably being paranoid, but just wanted to make sure that you knew I was kidding when I was acting like you were gonna be begging me to do a reality show, okay? Okay. And cut. Thanks, Ginger. Tom! Hey, Angela! I got here as quickly as I could. Your message said it was urgent. Is everything okay? Yes! I'm finally filming my reality show audition tape. Oh, not really interested. Uh, now, Angela, I need you to check the acoustics for our new reality TV confession booth. Tom, it's a bathroom. Well, yeah. People sound great in the bathroom. That's why they sing in the shower. There's no shower in here. There's just a toilet. Shower, toilet, use your imagination. What? Use my imagination? Are you kidding me right now? That's our Angela. She's not only my good friend, but she is also kind of a pop star. You might even know some of her songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Yeah, yeah, baby, baby. Why don't you sing one of your songs? I love Tom, but my manager thought it might hurt my career to sing one of my real songs on his crazy audition tape. As you can see, this is no ordinary neighborhood garage. It's what we call the studio. studio. And it's where I produce games and songs and apps with my best friend and business partner, Ben. Hey, Ben. Ah! Tom. Ah! Please tell me that camera isn't recording. Are you kidding me? That was reality TV gold. Ben here is the owner of all this high-tech, expensive equipment. Correct, Tom. So don't you dare touch it. Ben's mom will let him keep the stuff at his house because of a few too many, shall we say, <clears throat> power surges caused a few too many, shall we say, the house fires. Not really my fault. Our electricity grid badly needs an upgrade. So, Ben, can you tell us what kind of mind-blowing, life-changing, high-tech invention you're working on? I can, but I don't see the reason why I would. Oh, come on, Ben. Tell us what it does. Well, if you must know, this is a squirting flower joke app. Ooh, what's that button? No, 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 don't, don't push it! Hmm, it doesn't even work. Well, it should. <laughs> now that is the funniest thing I have ever seen you do. What do you mean? I'm often very funny. Uh, not really. Uh, I am so. Nope. Uh, nope. Mm -hmm. You, reality show producers, you should know the following. Yes, I'm a tech genius, but I also possess a well-rounded personality. For example, I can be whimsical. I'm often spontaneous. I'm organized. In a fun way. And most of all, I am humorous. You're humorous? What? You don't think I'm funny? Mm, you know what? Forget I said anything. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not leaving until I have shown everyone that I am more than just the brains of this operation. Please don't. <clears throat> Hello, viewer. Prepare to laugh at the following stand-up comedy humor presentation. <laughs> Joke number one. So yesterday I flew in from the West Coast, and boy, are my arms tired. So you see, Tom. Scam calls suck. Wouldn't it be great to scam the scammers instead? RoboKiller's answer bots feature in um, the word flu has two different meanings. So, Ben, if a joke is funny, you don't need to explain why it's funny. Stop it, Tom. You're embarrassing yourself. I have studied a lot more comedy than you have. Good day.
Oh, of course. The best comedy comes from a spreadsheet. What are those two bickering about? Do they think that's going to impress the producers? And why am I talking to you instead of talking directly to them? Uh, take over. Oh, uh, uh, hi. I'm Tom's roommate, Hank. Um, well, I've seen every sitcom made from 1986 to 1994. And in France, I, I, I'm called Honk. Tim Honk! Ginger! Oh, Ginger! Ginger, it's your turn to talk! In a minute! I'm almost done! Hey, that's my phone! Hi. I told you, if you don't behave, I'm gonna send you home. I'm sorry, Hank. Give me another chance. I'll be good. Ginger and Noi. Well, okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Ginger, and I'm seven years old. And when I grow up, I want to be just like my role model, Hank. Aw, uh, I'm the only one who disciplines the kid. That's why he looks up to me. Hey, give me that. <laughs> Ginger. Have a seat on the couch and tell the producers about yourself. Tom, you start. I'm what people call a visionary. Some days I'll wake up and think, let's see, today I'm going to design a hot air balloon that can land on a passing asteroid. Except a hot air balloon can't fly in space. That's a minor detail. Comments like that prove that you're just not a visionary. And you're not a scientist. You two are a great team. Tell us about some of the apps you've created. Oh, tell her about the Ray Ray. Oh, uh, why did you bring that up? The Ray Ray was an app that used bursts of microwaves to locate people nearby named Ray. Wow, nobody needs that. Well, maybe we should talk about Cook My Salmon, the app that makes your phone so hot it can cook salmon. Which totally worked, it just drained your battery. And set your pants on fire. Really, guys? So, tell us how you first met. Well, it was like a million years ago. No, it was 8.3 years ago. Cool. 8.3? You're talking nonsense. Nonsense? You're the king of nonsense. I am literally a hologram of positivity. <laughs> now, the vibe I'm going for here is everyone's got their own whatchamacallit. So, Tom. Is there anything about Ben that gets on your nerves? Huh. Don't touch that. <laughs> Don't touch my computer screen. <laughs> now you're touching me! <laughs> now who wouldn't want to watch that on TV? <laughs> That's it? I'm never going to work with you again! <laughs> hey, Tom. How's it going? Not so good. I don't think my video is good enough to convince the TV producers to give me a reality show. Then just turn it into a very special Christmas audition video. Would that work? Do you know that show, The Hermit Housewives of the Arid Islands? Sure, everyone does. They were almost canceled. And then they turned every episode into a very special Christmas special. Would that work for us? Don't ask me. Ask this guy. Somebody call Santa? Ho, ho, ho! Where did he come from? Okay, Ginger, cue the snow and action. This season, children all over the world are going to be asking me for the same thing. Santa, they're saying. All I want is to see a reality show starring Talking Tom and his friends. Hey, what is this? It's a public service announcement for children who want me to get my own reality show. Kids watch enough TV. No, my show will be good. It'll be like a Christmas miracle. But I'm not sure if the TV producers will like it. Oh, what do you need a TV producer for? To make all my dreams come true? Ho, ho, ho! Good one, Tom. You don't need some outdated, washed-up TV producer to make your own reality TV show. I don't? No. All you need is a video camera, a computer, and a bunch of crazy goofball friends. <laughs> Which you definitely have. I do? Ho, ho, ho! Yes, you do! So just make the show yourself. I can do that! Thanks, Santa! This may be the best Christmas ever! ever. 
Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Take your luck, come sing with us. Hey, nice seeing Angela. What? Until that awful singing stops, I'm staying right in here with you, confession camera. You're welcome. Santa! Santa! Oh, oh, oh. Santa, wait! You forgot my Christmas list! Ho, oh, oh. ho! Email me! 